Sayed Naqvi from Yonkoping University in Sweden. And as, and as Sweden is considered one of the most innovative countries, and the university has 11,000 students, out of which 2,000 are international students, and over to you for your presentation. Okay. So should I start now? Yes, please. Great. Uh, I don't know how to. Okay, I'll slide it from here. Mm. Yeah, I have to move it somewhere. Okay. So, welcome all of you. Um, I'm Syed Matvi from uh, Jönköping University, Sweden. Uh, this university is. Uh, uh, south of sweden situated south of sweden in a in a in a in a city called yen shopping which is one of the 10th largest uh, cities in sweden and uh, uh, it belongs to the yen shopping uh, commune uh, the cnn uh, recently um, in its news published about yen shopping as one of the healthiest cities in um, in europe and uh, uh, it also commended the the role of the healthcare providers here, and there are the, the other different things that I'll, I'll um, discuss uh, during this uh, presentation. So I give you a general presentation first about Yen Shopping University, our programs, and then uh, we focus more on the engineering uh, programs, the, the research um, facilities, and the research. Uh, that we have here, especially in uh, mechanical engineering, in uh, uh, computer sciences, in architecture, uh, civil engineering. So uh, as you can see, um, this is our uh, uh, tagline where global careers are born. Uh, just to chip in a few things, I mean, a couple of words here. Uh, you may have seen this movie uh, about Mowgli. Uh, which went on to uh, bag the prestigious Academy Awards. Our alumni have been part of that. I mean, unfortunately, we discontinued that program, but uh, it was our program where, I mean, uh, in uh, uh, special effects, it was a specialized program in our Echo Campus, and this and the team of students from uh, that program were part of this uh, this this uh, the Jungle Book uh, movie, which went on to bag. Uh, uh, yeah, the Academy Awards. Uh, so uh, this is Sweden. We are a safe country, and uh, we are very innovative when it comes to uh, uh, innovation index. Sweden has uh, one of the highest uh, index in the world. Uh, example is uh, the IKEA supply chain, the IKEA supply chain giant. So. IKEA is not because uh, it is uh, a world-class uh, uh, furniture manufacturing industry, but because it is a highly innovative supply chain. So uh, innovation is uh, one of the key uh, words, innovation, sustainability. This is what Sweden is uh, known about uh, around the world. We are known for our um, encouragement of entrepreneurial spirit. We are known for our innovation we are known for our sustainability projects and the investments that we make in sweden uh, quite a high uh, like 40 percent of the gdp uh, is um, um, like 40 percent of uh, the swedish uh, gdp is uh, invested in that so the beautiful country uh, short midsummers, very extreme temperatures in the winters. That uh, something that the Indian students should not know now. <laughs> um, I come to my next uh, slide. We have <clears throat> some of the world's most international companies, some of the most famous brands. IKEA, I already mentioned about IKEA. Swedish fashion, Volvo, we are the largest, uh, I mean, uh, IKEA, Volvo, and Spotify, they are some of the major exporters of services and products in, in Sweden. Some of the Swedish companies that people can relate to, people can recognize, or Bebe, Nordia, Spotify, I think the young generation, especially the students who have uh, uh, 
who are participating in this uh, uh, webinar can relate to Spotify. That is uh, your biggest uh, online music exporter, Securitas, and one company which is not mentioned, I'm surprised on this uh, slide is Ericsson. If you are a computer science uh, graduate, I'm pretty sure, and from India, I'm pretty sure you must have heard about Ericsson that revolutionized uh, the, the communication technology, revolutionized the mobile technology. And we have so many uh, offices across uh, metropolitan India uh, with Ericsson. Ericsson is one of the uh, largest, uh, you know, research uh, investors in India. Uh, when it comes to communication technology. Uh, I talked a little bit about uh, sustainability. Uh, let me go down to the slide of sustainability first. Uh, yeah, sustainability, that's the buzzword today in uh, given the environmental, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm stuck somewhere, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, come to the next slide. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, there's some technical issues here with the slides. Uh, yeah, sustainability. Sweden uh, invests heavily in 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 sustainability research, uh, and that reflects uh, at the university level. We have sustainability research centers. We have programs, especially dedicated to uh, sustainability uh, research in business, research in technology all leading up to uh, research in, in, in sustainability. Mm. Coming to my next slide, innovation. Uh, some of the famous uh, Swedish innovations. Uh, matchstick, where would uh, we be in the world today if uh, we had not uh, uh, had uh, matchsticks? Just a simple innovation. Ultrasound, dynamite, the zipper, ball bearings, which is base of mechanical engineering. And uh, there are many others to name. Uh, Skype, uh, the world of communication changed after uh, we had this platform called Skype. So this was uh, 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 developed in, in Sweden by a group of uh, students, the dialysis machine, as you can see. So I will go down to the next slide. Uh, equality. Now uh, there's so much to speak about equality. Sweden is a materialistic society. Women have a leading role uh, in almost uh, all organizations, uh, be governmental or private or you know anything corporate or educational. You will always find uh, our women in uh, uh, taking up the lead position, uh, the CEOs, uh, and um, uh, famous researchers, the professors, I mean, they're all, uh, I mean, in, in lead positions, we have so many women here. And uh, uh, so much so that, I mean, this is, I mean, I may get a little off track, but when it comes to uh, uh, women empowerment, if, if a, a male and a female, they together apply for a certain position, and, and if they have the same qualification, Sweden has the tendency to, to promote uh, females to those positions so that uh, there's further empowerment. Uh, I go down to my next slide. Yeah, and the famous Nobel Prize. I think uh, we are all uh, very much uh, known to what Nobel Prize is. Uh, it's decided by uh, uh, the Swedish Riksdag, and uh, the recent uh, Nobel Prize uh, from India is for economics. And I'm very happy about it. I being from India. Let's uh, come to Yanshuping. It is one of the 10 largest cities. Uh, the unique uh, geographical position of uh, Yanshuping, this particular city, uh, gives it, uh, uh, you know, it, it is very well connected to the four European uh, Nordic hubs of Oslo, uh, Helsinki, Ko. Uh, Copenhagen and, and a very famous uh, European highway called e Fira passes through it so that all uh, big companies have their distribution centers here. And this is in one way uh, quite good because it lends a lot of opportunity of internships and uh, uh, jobs to our incoming students. 
Uh, IKEA, for example, has the world's largest distribution center here in Lyon Shipping in the area called Bernamo. And it is so huge and big that when we take uh, our students for uh, industrial visits, it takes like half an hour by bus to go around the facility. It's huge. So as El Giganten, El Shop, Little, and all those big companies, uh, local, local, global companies, most of them have their uh, uh, distribution centers here. And uh, some, of, some of the big companies have research centers as well here. Like we have so many cluster companies in Husqvarna, the twin city, Yon Shipping Husqvarna. I come to my uh, next slide. Uh, tell me if I'm going a little too quick because I am uh, eyeing at the questions. It's a beautiful uh, city at the juncture of three sprawling lakes. Uh, Lake Vatten, by the way, it's the latest news, has been uh, awarded as the, the cleanest lake in Europe, uh, in, in Northern Europe. And it is one of the three biggest lakes in, uh, in, in Sweden. Um, of course, uh, when we talk about lakes, we talk about ledgers, sandy beaches, uh, warm water, good weather. I come to my next slide. Mm. So uh, more about Yen Shipping. 11,000 students, of which 10% of the population is international. Uh, uh, is is international in in uh, in Yen Shipping. So uh, we are the most international uh, university. We are a young, vibrant university, but at the same time, we are the most international university in Sweden and uh, uh, we have the highest number of students going on exchange, uh, especially in the bachelor's program. And actually we, we are the only university that offers bachelor's program in a large number of bachelor programs in, uh, uh, in English. Uh, when we first started uh, marketing our programs, there were not other universities uh, that had bachelor programs. Now there are some others that have. Um, uh, but Sweden has traditionally been thought of as a master's destination. We have a, a, a big area of a great area of uh, master degree programs, but at the same time, we do have bachelor uh, degree programs in engineering, in, in business administration, in social sciences. Hmm. So this brings me to my next slide. Oh, it's not opening. So we are a group of uh, four schools. Yon Shopping International Business School, uh, which is doubly accredited, uh, ESAB and EQUIS accreditation, and um, it is uh, one of the highest ranking schools, business schools in Sweden, and uh, in certain uh, 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 fields of education, we have consistently been ranked as number one and three respectively. For instance, in uh, strategic entrepreneurial education and research, we have been ranked consistently as number three uh, globally um, and uh, our exchange students mostly from India when they come they do want to take this program we have uh, exchange agreements with IIT Madras we have exchange agreements uh, with uh, or with the with the five IIMs the top notch I'm and the the Bangor Calcutta Lucknow Cozy Code and I have uh, visited and delivered lectures in three of them so most of the IIM students who come here they want to do as much of uh, the entrepreneurial research, I mean, entrepreneurial courses that we offer here as possible. They're smart guys. Uh, so, and then we have uh, School of Engineering, uh, which is tied with the Indian Institute of uh, Technology, Madras. Our, our own exchange students can go there, uh, even if they are Indian. Um, so students, let's say an Indian student who comes here uh, to study a master's degree program, very welcome to go back and take a semester in IIM Madras. Oh, sorry, IIT Madras. And then we have School of Education and Communication. This school also has uh, great ties with uh, universities in Pune and Mumbai and uh, uh, good communication schools in India. Then we have School of Health Science and Welfare. So all together, we have uh, four schools uh, in this university. Um, some of the short facts, we have 11,000 students. Uh, Sanjeev, you've already mentioned that 2,000, approximately 2,000 of them are international uh, from 70 countries. 
830 employees, 150 assistant professors, 70 full professors. We have this slide, uh, the, uh, this uh, presentation, unfortunately, is uh, not uh, dated. We have more than 80 study programs and uh, more than 350 uh, partner universities. We have uh, partner universities in the Erasmus area and across North Atlantic, uh, India, China. So we have more than 350 partners and um, uh, they're all good top notch schools. Yeah. So rankings and accreditations. Uh, normally in Sweden, we do not believe in a ranking system. Uh, we don't uh, indulge in rankings. We don't participate in the rankings and all. But this is just a short view uh, about uh, rankings. The School of Engineering is a member of the CDI initiative, uh, which is also shared by MIT, which is also, I mean, MIT being one of the participants and uh, the lead role participant. So, um, yeah, some of the practical uh, aspects. The education here is uh, not just theoretical, it's uh, we, we uh, make sure that uh, students get hands-on experience, especially for uh, technological programs, technology masters. Um, we are the only university in Sweden which offers uh, mandatory uh, internship opportunities. Uh, if you go through the courses that we offer in the engineering uh, school, the programs uh, that we offer at engineering school, they all have IPC, mandatory IPC courses of nine credits, which means all students have to go through industrial uh, internship. And we, uh, we guarantee that uh, there, there aren't other universities that have this because we have very strong relation uh, with the industry uh, and the industry cluster in, in, in Husqvarna. We have strong relations with uh, companies like Volvo. We, I, have, uh, I have very many uh, in students who have had the opportunity to, to do their internships in Volvo, in, uh, in design companies like uh, uh, Swedish Thule, which is quite well known, um, accessory company, and, and many others. So this industry placement course is embedded within the program. So nobody should feel that he or she is left behind because internship is not easy to find. So what we do is we guarantee the internship part of uh, nine credits. And this is one of the USPs. All engineering master programs have uh, this guarantees that the students will have some 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 form of internship so that they are exposed to the industry and they are they learn uh, some of the practicalities and when they are they graduate they uh, they are sort of industry ready um, i come to my next slide practice and theory we always focus on group work and uh, we always uh, encourage students to uh, be in groups uh, with other nationalities, not just your own, so that you also learn cross-culture competence. And um, there are study visits, there are guest lectures, there are, I mean, it's a complete uh, um, uh, package where, where you get uh, good exposure to industry. So besides this uh, nine credits, students are also welcome to find their own internships. And, and, and this is a, a very, a uh, common way or a great way to find uh, land into employment. It's up to the students how, I mean, there, there, are, there are several success stories where students uh, transform those uh, nine credit uh, internships into uh, bigger, uh, longer duration paid internships or uh, thesis work or some sort of research project or finally an, an employment with the company. And so. This is an opportunity that we, we provide for our um, students. A lot of projects going on. Field visits, some pictures to share. Uh, we have also been part of the World Solar Challenge uh, in Australia, uh, which was a 3,000 kilometer uh, uh, race. Uh, 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 we were in the first, of course, <laughs> but uh, it was quite significant because uh, we are working on uh, 
sustainable energy projects. And this is one of the examples. And we had an Indian student who was a very active participant in uh, this project. So uh, yeah, as you can see, this is Hot Australia. Science Park, um, yes. So uh, besides education, as, as I said earlier, we focus very much on entrepreneurial research. And this organization called Science Park is owned by the university. Um, it is a business incubator. We, uh, we were the pioneers in Science Park. And then later on, other universities, uh, now three of them, have added this feature to their uh, you know, university and university curricula. Um, uh, this particular organization helps students, not just business students, but, but uh, engineering students, uh, uh, to be entrepreneurial. And, and um, uh, this organization provides free space, uh, advices, and even brings investors if you have good ideas. And, you know, those ideas are being worked upon, honed. I mean, they, these are, such ideas are made better so that they, are, they become feasible. And uh, uh, our students have, some of our students have uh, formed their own companies and they're successfully running it. Some of the stories are really successful. Some of them weren't that uh, fortunate, but you know, uh, this business, business incubator has helped so many students. We have IT, we have, I mean, within this uh, science park, we have uh, small IT clusters that have been formed by our uh, students and, and a couple of, uh, of them being Indian. So this is a business incubator, which is uh, which is one uh, feature. Uh, international environment. Uh, our kickoff week is has been ranked as uh, one of the best, where you see people from students from several uh, nationalities. It's like a rainbow, and um, uh, your international uh, cross culture competence journey begins here uh, after right after the enrollment. It's a fifteen day long program where you've given a lot of information about Sweden, the survival kit, and uh, uh, group formations, all vital information. And you, you get a lot of opportunity to interact with different cultures. So some short facts, which of course uh, have not been updated. 350 partner universities, students from 70 countries, 800 host companies, and this is good for those students, uh, especially from technical background, who are um, really interested in um, internship opportunities and uh, research projects and thesis writing. So these uh, we are tied with. Uh, we are we work in collaboration with 800 host companies. Some of them are small companies. Some of them are like global companies. We have th that have local. Uh, uh, context and some of them are really big ones like Volvo and uh, I, I can also mention that uh, Volvo had a project uh, called Aisha 2020 which was uh, a truck I'm sorry yes yeah. so yeah I just want to know could you wrap it up in two minutes oh, and yes. then question answer because you left a lot of questions everything for you so if you could oh, wrap okay. up okay. in two minutes and then we'll take question answer okay? I'm sorry I'm sorry Okay, no, no, I'll right. do that quickly. It's an interesting presentation. So I, I let me just finish with Aisha 2020, which was uh, about to be launched in the in the Indian industry. This truck uh, in the year 2020, John Shipping's uh, uh, Technics Hook School and JTH was a major partner in the design process of this uh, this project. So of course, English spoken by all. I haven't bumped into anyone who doesn't speak English. Uh, I have not yet learned uh, Swedish. I'm living here for like 15 years now, but I'm um, sorry, I haven't learned Swedish at all. And um, it's so international, but I always advise learn it so that your integration into society becomes easier. We have bachelor programs. You can go through it. These are all uh, uh, business and uh, uh, engineering bachelors. Then we, we come down to our master's programs. These are our master programs. Uh, these are business. And then I come to the next slide where we have, uh, we will have, yeah, we will have the master. So I'll focus here on the on the engineering 
on the engineering masters we have like industrial design which is one of the most sought after program and uh, it welcomes students from civil engineering uh, mechanical engineering uh, and and others and architecture and this is i mean sweden is known for its uh, design capabilities and this is a program i i always suggest students to go for because uh, from my experience i have seen i i see that uh, most of the students landed land up into very prestigious jobs we have we have uh, so many students from south india who have bagged reputable very good jobs as designers in ikea in volvo and 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 uh, scania and other other major uh, major companies and this is one of the most sought after program and so are our uh, three mechanical engineering programs and our uh, building information architecture programs so and and so are our it programs computer science programs so um these programs i mean i when i compare them with other programs their employability is quite good uh we'll come back to the programs later when the questions uh, come from students uh i'll wrap up i'll wrap this up quickly because all the requirements and everything i can tell you so consider this uh as done so i welcome students for questions can you hear me sanjeev hello hello sanjeev I'm done. Okay, so now you could see the questions in the chat box and start answering them. Uh, maybe you have uh, another five, six minutes. And while answering, okay. remember to remember to pick up the name or the best question. Two question name. So over to you. Hi. I can't see the questions. Are they going to write the questions or? Uh... The questions are in the chat box. In the chat box, but I'm chatting with, okay, public. I have to go to public, okay. Ah, I have so many questions. Let me, let me go up, okay. Information on cost and living, do you pro provide, uh, Renil asks, do you provide exchange programs with MIT? N uh, no, we don't, we don't. Rajkumar, uh, masters in mechanical. What's what's to fee cost? Mm, what's the fee? I guess it's uh, one hundred and forty thousand Swedish krones. And uh, do you have a degree in piloting? No, we don't. What is the tuition fee for masters? It's approximately one hundred and forty thousand Swedish krones for the two years. We don't have aeronautical engineering uh, fees in MBA. It's uh, 130,000 Swedish krones. There's a long question from Mr. Murugesh looking for a master's. Mm, we, we do have uh, cutoffs, but it's not. And uh, we always expect a, a minimum of first class in your, in your BTEC for the, for the engineering programs. We don't have astrophysics in bachelors. Uh, Total fees, including hostel and other, because I mean the the fees, as I said, is 140,000 Swedish krones for the two years, and uh, the hostel or accommodation varies in which area you live, or if you live single, or if you take a shared apartment or something like that. Um, ILTS is mandatory for mandatory. ILTS is mandatory for all the programs, but if you are an engineering bachelor's uh, from India or BTEC or BE, then you you can claim IELTS waiver. You don't have to write IELTS. Uh, you can simply uh, apply and be over with it. Um, we don't have uh, urban planning. We have programs in business administration, economics, finance, 
mechanical engineering, IT, computer science, architectural engineering, civil engineering, and others. Placements. Uh, uh, if by placements you 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 mean that there are placement cells that actually uh, you know you have guaranteed placements, then no. Uh, that is this element is completely absent in our part of the world you have to arrange your own placements what we do is we guarantee you internship placement which is uh, very much embedded in the in the engineering masters and some of the business programs uh, do you have masters in renewable energy no we don't but it's upcoming uh, in the next uh, uh, admission cycle which university is it? it this is Yun Shopping University. Major recruiters of uh, university. If you mean agents, yes, we do have agents, uh, but we don't publish their names. And you can write to us; we can guide you to those agents. And uh, uh, but you are always welcome to apply on your own, which is the best way. Udhav, yes, uh, we do have admissions fee, which is approximately hundred euros, which is a non-refundable fee. Uh, visa process time varies. Uh, it depends on your personal circumstances. Um, how much time will we get to find post job study? Uh, you get a minimum of six months stay back in Sweden. Uh, and if you land into a job, then it's indefinite. Uh, Megan Krishna Sagar, is GRE or GMAT required? Um, no, we don't have any such requirements, but if you have GRE or GMAT scores, you're very welcome to uh, send it with your application. It will only strengthen your candidacy for uh, scholarships and admissions. Fees for computer science in bachelors. It's 130,000 uh, Swedish crones. Uh, everything is there on the website about fees, accommodation, uh, it's it's very easy. It's, everything is published out there, and I can send you links. I will write my email ID, and you are all welcome to uh, get in touch with me. Uh, let me write my email ID and my phone number. I hope Sanjeev, I'm I'm not being out of fact by writing this email and uh, email ID and uh, phone numbers. Secondly, do we have to send notarized documents? Yes, you do. You don't have to do it. Uh, you don't have to send it to the Swedish High Commission. You everything you have to do uh, is with the university. You have to send if if you're sending copies, then you have to send them notarized. But now we have. I mean, if you apply directly to Yonchup University, you can upload all your documents you don't have to get it attested or notarized you know double masters if someone had masters and want to pursue yes we do of course we do and you will get you will earn credits for that i mean if there are common courses in your previous masters of course you will get uh, credit and you you may not uh, you may not uh, do certain courses if you've already done uh, them in your previous education mm. same if you could uh, Which is just if you could just, sorry? we have other speaker waiting and uh, yeah. we, will, we will send you the list of questions. You have been very kind okay. to provide your email and phone number. So I'm sure the students have loved your presentation. They will be contacting you. Now, could you help okay. me identify two Indian names, the questions, best questions which they asked? Yeah, I have to go through the questions because the questions came in like a, Cascade. <laughs> I know, that's Many the of the questions I have not been able to answer. When you are answering the question. Okay, so give me some time. Sure. Uh, there was a question about uh, renewable energy masters because uh, I I take it as a feedback. We should when we work so much on renewable energy and sustainability, we should have a masters and bachelors. And I like that question, but I don't know who wrote that. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the second one? I think it, and the second one is about IIT Madras, uh, Mr. Murugesh M. Okay. So, th thank you, Say. Thank you very much. Very excellent presentation. 
and uh, I'm sure our students have loved it and you'll be inundated with loads of questions and queries from India. And, and, uh, and before, before I sign out, just a piece of information. I will be, uh, I'm traveling to India on 25th. I'll be in Delhi on 26th and I, I'll be in Pune on the 2nd for a fair. And during this period, people, I mean, they are, if there are students who want to meet me, they're most welcome. Okay, so that's very good information. Students are sure you have heard it. So thank you very much, Sai. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sanjeev. Uh, we'll be in touch, okay? Thank you, Sanjeev. Thanks a lot.